In the previous part, we have understood the definition of the lowest and the category which has closely related organisms. Now, we will go up the hierarchy. That means we'll talk about the genus. I'm going to write a couple of species again here so that we are able to relate to this. Suppose Panthera tigris. This is one species that is tigris and Panthera is the name of the genus. Now let us come to the next category. Genus. What exactly we mean by genus? Genus is a category or a group which has similar species. So similar species are placed in one genus. Let us write down some examples. Say if we write Panthera tigris, that is tiger. Then we write Panthera leo, that is lion. And Panthera pandas, that is leopard. That means tigris species, leo species, panda species. They are all placed in the same genus. So we are talking of similar species because they all belong to cat family. So all these big cats, they are very similar to each other and that is why these similar species are placed under one genus. Let us take one more example. Say if we talk of Solena tuberosa, that is potato, then Solena nigra, Solena melongena, that is brinja. So if we talk about these three, again, these three species and they are all placed in the same genus. So what is a species? A group of organisms which are very closely related. Similar species are placed in one genus. Now let us move to, so we are done with species and genus. Let us come to the next category that is family. And now when we are talking of family, what exactly we mean? By family we mean that similar, we mean that similar genera are kept in one family. Let us write down this Panthera. Panthera is a genus. Similarly, Phallus is also a genus. And in this Phallus, we put the domestic and the smaller cats. Panthera, we have all these ones. And these together, they are placed in one family that is Phallidae. So what do we have? Genera Panthera, Genera Phallus in the same family. So similar genera are placed in same family. Now we are done with the next category that is family. Let us come to the next category that is order. Now how would we define order? Order is a category in which we put similar families. So here there are similar families which are placed in one order. So let us take this family. Felidae and there is one more, sorry, one more family that is Canidae. Felidae is cat family and Canidae is canine or dog family and they are placed in the same order. So now we are talking about the order. The order is called Carnivora. So one order is going to have similar families. Next category is class. So how do we define class? Class would have similar orders. Similar orders would be placed in one class. So again let us take this carnivora and let us take one more that is primata or primates. And they are placed in 
the similar class. So now we are talking about the class. The class is Mammalia. Similar classes would be placed in the same phylum. So after class, the next category is going to be the phylum. What is going to be included in phylum? Similar classes. So let us take this mammalia. Mammalia, apes, reptilia, amphibia, and fishes or pisces. All these classes are placed in one phylum that is chordata. And the last and the topmost that is the kingdom. So kingdom is going to have all the phyla. All phyla would be placed in the kingdom. So what all would come here? Chordata would be there. Echinodermata. Mollusca, Annelida. We will start from Porifera. So Porifera, Nidaria, Platyhelminth, Ascalminthus. All those phylums would be placed in the kingdom. So we went from the smallest group to the largest group. So when we talk of animal kingdom, all animals that exist, they are in this group. Now, when we go down, we start to start to separate them on the basis of similarities. But the similarities are going to be maximum in the smallest group, which is, which is going to have all closely related animals. So now we know what hierarchy is and the most closely related would be in the species or the smallest group and most diverse would be in the topmost group that is the kingdom. So this is how the taxonomic categories are placed and this is called the hierarchy. And hierarchy can be from the biggest to the smallest or smallest to the biggest groups but it has to be arranged in this particular manner. So now by taking these examples it is easier to understand that what exactly these categories mean and we have also said that category is also known as a taxon. So taxon is nothing but a category or a level. So all those organisms in that level would be kept or considered as a taxon. So this is how we classify any particular organism and arrange them in a hierarchy or in a systematic